I'd like to always be part of something that it could be hard, it may not work, but if it did, it would be amazing. Growing up on a farm, on a dirt road in rural Arkansas, is now, I think, idyllic. My parents worked very hard, and they were very intent on raising us children to have a better life than them. And I got a chance to participate in almost everything. I did junior miss and lettered in gymnastics. Rodeo was an important sport for me, and that offered a lot of opportunities. You could really be a part of the community. I took a semester off and traveled around the state of Arkansas, meeting people everywhere and representing the sport of rodeo. So at the end of my time as Miss Rodeo Arkansas, I realized I had to make a different decision. So then I started my career at the University of Arkansas and was exposed for the first time to a business class and I loved it. So I switched my major to agriculture economics and graduated from the university. It was a great experience. I had so many great opportunities coming out of school and thankfully landed a job with one of the largest agriculture companies in the world called Alanco. And it started me off on a terrific career. And someone came along with great advice and advised me that I should consider going to business school because I loved business. I entered Harvard Business School and had a two-year amazing life experience. It allowed me to learn about things that I had never heard of before. And I had the opportunity to apply to an interview for Morgan Stanley and ended up getting a job offer to move to New York City for the summer. So it just opened doors and showed me the excitement of Wall Street. And it was a very heady experience. Coming out of business school, I went to work for Eli Lilly and Company. And as a large conglomerate with many, many different divisions and companies, it's a great training ground. They wanted you to have many different experiences across the company, so as an executive, you would really understand the business. I had no idea that they were going to offer me the job to be the CEO of one of their important medical device companies, Guidant Corporation, which then started a 10-year ride in medical technology that was an incredible life experience and an opportunity to really lead an organization that was changing cardiovascular care and so it's been a life lesson for me and building guidant in particular from going public to building it to 11,000 employees when I left being recognized as one of the best companies in America during that time frame and launching technology that truly saved millions of lives and changed the character of the field of cardiology forever in terms of what's possible. I'm very proud of that and really proud of those 10 and 11 and 12,000 people over time that made things possible that no one knew could be done after a decade. I was looking for other opportunities in San Diego, a small biotech, needed a CEO and was offered the opportunity to become the CEO of Amelin Pharmaceuticals. Building a commercial capability is a very distinct task, especially in science and medicine where you have a lot of technical capabilities, but you may not have all of the sides of the business that include customer service and shipping and distribution and manufacturing and selling and marketing and advertising and all those other capabilities. So my job was really to bring all that together to enable Amelin to launch first-in-class medicines. When it was my time to step aside, we ended up in Fort Collins, Colorado and started my own little business here in town. So I started out wanting a pie shop where I thought people could gather in agriculture. is still very much a part of who I am and important to me. We supply produce and fruit, and I think the idea of local food and farm to table has a lot of meaning to me. I get the opportunity in Fort Collins to be part of a great community, to feel like I can still give back, I can still help young people grow, I can still build a culture that is inclusive and open and hospitable and joyful. I was often the first, you know, the first director at Lilly, the first director of sales, the first uh, California Healthcare Institute chair, the first woman on the pharma board, the first executive committee member that was a woman, the you know, but for me, I learned to just say yes. The most inspiring part of running a company is helping people see what they're capable of doing. And for me as a leader, what I loved the most was those moments when you realize that you can't solve it, but 
asking the employees how to make miracles happen and trusting that they can do everything and will do what's right showed me over and over again that the power of the organization is what causes amazing things to happen. And passionate employees can change the world if you give them the power to do that.